Hey guys, welcome back to another Tea with D. Um, y'all know what we do here. Lemon ginger tea always. Um, okay, y'all, if I'm looking here, I'm looking at something else when I know the camera's here, but it's it's a whole thing, y'all. Anyway, and the topic today, y'all, is such a good that sounded so country. The topic today, you all, <laughs> is such a good topic for um, a certain trending topic that's going around right now. So, the topic on today's episode is society's expectations and stress that they put on women. Y'all know I'm a woman's woman. I'm a girl's girl. And some of this stuff, I, don't, I ain't got time for it. And I don't put up with it. And it grinds my gears. So, this, you might not know, but turn the topic or whatever that's been going on is Lori, right? She's dating someone new. Love that for her. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Never know if you're going to see this video, but Lori, you're doing amazing. Um, and, you know, people are just like, they drag her all the time when she's in the media and dating. Literally dating, doing nothing outside the ordinary that regular women do. And I'm just like, what's tea? She's dating, right? Anyway. I just never like when people get on there and bash her or bash a woman, period, for doing things that men are praised for. Are you dumb? BFFR. Seriously. I, are you dumb? <laughs> anyway, so let's kick it off, right, with some of the expectations and society stress on women. Coming in numero uno, probably every woman has experienced this. When are you going to get married? That question probably hits. And depending on who your family and your friends are, that question hits earlier than some. But usually around that 25 mark, you start getting them questions at the family dinner. It will, or, you know, holiday events. And it's like, get out my business, number one. Number two, have you seen the dating pool? Have you been in it? Hmm? It's slim pickings. Slim enough. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to get married, hon. Ask God. And when you ask him, tell him to let me know. Anyway, so number two usually follows the marriage question are kids. Not everyone wants kids. Not everyone's ready. Have you seen the economy? Every week my mama talk about the price of eggs. And you want me to feed a child? Come on now. BFFR. <laughs> so you're going to have to show me the funds. And then we can discuss an arrangement. <laughs> I try to hear it. Um, so outside of those two, and those being the biggest two that I know for sure that women have to deal with on a constant basis, a yearly basis, um, questions that we get, and men don't get those same kind of questions. You know, they're praised for some, not all, um, are praised for going through women or, um, you know, not settling down so he's well in his late 30s. 40s, you know, men get pushed on back, whereas women is so much like you want me to give up my early years, time to myself to learn myself. I just learned who I was 26, but 26 through 27 is when I really started doing the shadow work. So I just want to be my best self for my babies and my husband. Like I got to show up for me first and then learn how to show up for myself when I become a wife when I become a mom like these are it's so much wrapped into I'm very big on that because I feel like it's an identity switch that happens when you get married when you have kids that I think a lot of people don't take into consideration but I've seen it so much and it's such a scary thing you hear people all the time oh I lost myself when I had kids or I lost myself when I got married and it's like sometimes they weren't able to take the time that they needed to themselves for themselves to really figure out what they wanted number one and to really just spend that quality time with with themselves so anytime that i know i personally get in my feelings about or whatever of that nature i just really think take a time to look at it from a different point of view i look at it in a point of view of oh my gosh i'm getting to spend so much time with myself oh my gosh i'm never gonna have all this time ever again to myself when those when god blesses me with those things so I just relish in the fact of, wow, I get to spend time with me. I get to love on me. Um, so that's how I flip it. But 
those are the main, the main expectations that I know a lot of women face every day. Um, other ones are, honey, they all, when the topic of gender roles come in, okay, unpopular opinion, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. There's a difference, right? Gender roles, I believe in them. I'm not gonna hold you, I do. I do believe there's a place with a man in the household and there's a place with a woman in the house. So I do, Just don't shoot the messenger. Because if it's a man in that house, I'm not taking out that trash. Do it. <laughs> I'm not doing that car maintenance. If it's a man in my house, I'm not doing that. Um, you're gonna do it. <laughs> so, but I also believe that the load is shared. I don't believe that cooking and cleaning is just a woman's traits. A man should know how to cook and clean. Be be before you met me, what were you doing? Was your mama coming over there cleaning your house? Come on now, be for real. So, I'm like, that's just not a woman thing. Like, a man should know how to clean up after yourself, make his bed, cook his meals. I mean, at least don't know the basics in the kitchen. I ain't saying you gotta be Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen, babe. But you gotta know how to do basic things. Boil an egg, okay? Hmm? Scramble it? <laughs> Something. Um, and I think a lot of people place that uh, women, um, you know, just trying to make them a woman in the kitchen. And, and it's just not every woman. Come on now. It's 2023. It's been the year of the woman. And I think a lot of men can't handle that sometimes. So when they had these discussions um, on the internet about you got to be submissive and all of this, I'm like, be so for real. I'm like, y'all, some of this stuff is not rocket science. Some of it is purely foundational things and if men would take a moment to read a book read the bible the foundation because literally is there um you gotta make it so that we can whatever you give off is how is how we're it's, it's just nature if you give us a safe space we all we can do is add abundance all we can do is nurture that safe space this is what we're this how we're wired, that's what we're going to do. But if you bring us chaos, confusion, drama, toxicity, what you expect? Hmm? Now, you got some people that's going to be Susan Homemaker, but then you then you meet me. And I'm not I'm not there with you, huh? Because first of all, I don't even match energies. Let's start there. You bring that mess over here, you out of there. Strike one, out of there. I don't play that. So, but that ain't everybody. But that's another thing men is raving about. Oh, she ain't submissive. She a hard body. Have you ever took the moment to see why she's a hard body? Have you ever stopped to have a conversation to see how you can make things easier for her so that she feels like she can submit to you? Let's just think about that. <laughs> um, another big one that is talked about a lot is the purity of a woman. Was I raised in the church? Absolutely. Did I do everything by the book? Absolutely not. Um, absolutely not. <laughs> but I'm saying, and that's nothing. What you want is what you want. That's perfectly fine. It's okay to have standards and it's okay to have preferences. What gets in the way of is when you got to bash other people for the way they live their lives. That's not your business. If that's not the woman or the man that you want, okay, that's fine. But don't bash this woman because you think you know what's going on. You think you know what she's doing because what she posts or how she is on social media. You don't know jack squat about nothing. So let's start there. But the purity thing, I think that's a lot of, a lot is tell the time. It's always been a thing for women um, and how men choose that woman. Girl, please, I've. I've seen both sides. So again, what works for you is what works for you. But do I think it should be a stamp on a woman to whether she's worthy or not? If she, Come on now. It's 2023. Be for real. <laughs> and which takes me back to the point. Um, I know we don't discuss a lot of celeb stuff here. But which brings me back to the point of Lori. I will see men drag her online and say, oh, she ran through. Oh, she... She did, she did. Who said she slept with any of them men? Who said that? D Nobody said that. It's dating. That's all it is. But don't set that as a expectation on us to where we can't live our life. But men out here hitting anything with legs, as my grandma would say. 
hmm? with legs. <laughs> so, um, another stress that society puts on, and I'm gonna put this for black women. They want us to be this strong black woman, uh, can do anything. I hung that up a long time ago. I'm not. I need help. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm a damsel because never gave that. But sometimes I'm not strong. Okay? Every day is not a good day. Every week is not a good week. Sometimes it's a month. And that's okay. It's okay to not be okay. And I want more of us to understand that and really grasp that concept. It's okay to not be okay. Long as you get back on the horse and you keep going, that's what's important. It don't matter how many times you fall down. Long as you keep getting back up and you keep fighting, that's what's important. So when society put that expectation on black women, I feel like it's just weighs us so down like we can't have a bad day we can't fall off like we already got to work twice as hard to be half as good so it's just too much stress y'all it's too much stress and i chose not to deal with it anymore like i'm gonna do my best i'm gonna keep fighting the good fight as i can but when i'm not okay i'm just not okay and that is okay <laughs> um the next one Tough love and struggle love. I know we flying through these, y'all, but I didn't want to do a long video, but I just wanted to hit like a few topics. So, tough love and struggle love. This is the one that comes across the TL, grinds my gears again. Because, and I also feel like it's only pointed towards black women. We got to be in the trenches with them. We got to build a man up. I never gave Bob the builder. It never gave that. Unless I'm putting up something in my house. But it never gave that for me. Never. Now, will I pour into you? Absolutely. You, absolutely. Will I pray for you? Absolutely. True, uh, true enough, I will do that. But what I will not do what I want to do is be here in the trenches with you, all for you to pick up and leave when you get on your feet. That ain't going to happen. And then only having the title of a girlfriend ain't married to the first. Because quiet is kept. The law only recognize husband and wife. So if you think you're going to get out of this, I'm around the way. I'm leaving here with something. Don't play with me. <laughs> so... The whole struggle of early 20s, you don't know no better. So you're probably in that. You're probably in that and you're probably toughing it out with somebody. Y'all both grinding early 20s. But as you get older, late late 20s, early 30s, no ma'am. No ma'am. You think I'm going to sit up in here and struggle with you. I, baby, I can sit up and struggle on my own. I'm not doing that. Um, so no. And people, they, they will say, you know, um... Oh, it builds character and um, nobody wants the man that's down bad. Y'all only want the man that's up. Nobody said that. If he down bad, he probably shouldn't even be dating. He should probably be putting all that energy into how he gonna get that money. That's just me. <laughs> but to sit up here and bash women, to say that we only want the man that's on top, why, why not? If we all could be like Carisha, we would. Hmm? Hmm. Because when I tell you my girl hit a lick, <laughs> like, come, like, use your common sense. Use your common sense. It, it blows my mind, y'all. But I could not wait to do this video. On, this was a very good topic. And I want to say my aunt gave me this topic, um... I think, or I came up with, I can't remember. I write, when people give me topics, and when I think about topics, I write them down so I don't forget them so that I remember to do them. Um, but this is a really good topic. And I just want to say, really just want you to know you are on your own journey, your own timeline. Don't let anybody rush you. You know when you're ready. You talk to God. He knows when you're ready. Uh, don't 
don't feel like you got to subject yourself to society norms. You will, baby, you will never please society. You just will not. You ain't gonna make everybody happy. You're just not. What matters is you are pleased with yourself at the end of the day. That is what matters. If you are happy, if you are whole, that is it. <laughs> Do not stress yourself out trying to keep up with these men and what they like and what they don't like. Baby, they they always on the next train. They always on the next train or what they want. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. And who is for you will be for you. Point blank period. That is it. <laughs> so I just wanted to end this video with that and say thank you guys always 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 for your support thank you for liking and subscribing and always commenting under my videos of course you know my socials are linked down below if you want to follow me i'm on any other platform other than youtube but i appreciate you all and if you all have any questions and as always put any topics you want to hear on tea with D down in the comments but i love you all so very much and i hope you have a great week um and don't forget to drink your tea y'all hope you had a great time listening to this topic um and i'll see y'all next time